So, what does a passive house need to function? We're going to talk about the three core elements that make a passive house work. Uh, firstly, we need to make sure that the passive house doesn't leak air, because if it does, then your internal environment will mix with the external environment, and vice versa. And if that external environment is cold, so does your internal environment become cold. So we need to make sure there's a barrier between those. And also the movement of moisture uh, carries on air. So a lot of the moisture-related issues associated, particularly with period properties, occurs because of air movement. So we've got to get a handle on air tightness. The second element is insulation. I actually have some insulation here. This is a type of insulation which is made from recycled newspapers. And we mix it with a salt solution which effectively makes it fungicidal, which means that fungus can't grow in it, and makes it fireproof. And in effect, that insulation is the vast majority of what we've used to keep this house warm. And the reason we need insulation is because it slows down the conduction of energy from the inside to the out. If you slow that process down, you need less energy. So this is moving towards what makes up a passive house. The fact that we just conserve less through passive means. So we use membranes and tapes and other technologies to keep it airtight. We use insulation to prevent that movement of heat. And now the pivotal technology that makes it all work. What you can't do is seal up your house without thinking about ventilation. Because effectively all of the moisture and all of the nasty smells and gases that you produce inside a building, if there is no chance of uh, extracting that, then it builds up and it becomes quite a nasty environment to be in indeed. So the idea is we have uh, a form of ventilation in here called MVHR and there's an example of an inlet up here. Now MVHR is really focused on uh, drawing in fresh air from the outside but making sure it doesn't bring all the nasty things that can come with fresh air, like pollen and particulates, but also the fact that it's very moist and it's very, very cold in a winter setting. Now, and we have on the inside, where we produce all these nasty bits in kitchens and bathrooms, which are elements such as the moisture itself, uh, but also the smells. And what we want to do is extract from those zones and take it to the outside. 100% of it, we really don't want any of that nasty stuff retained inside the building. So what we're doing with the MVHR, known as mechanical ventilation with heat recovery, which is the type of ventilation which is key for passive houses, is that we actually bring fresh air from outside into a box with the stale air from inside and we extract the energy from the, the warm stale air and put it into the fresh, uh, the fresh cold air and that warms it up and in fact if you had 20 degrees inside and 0 degrees out, that's a 20 degree differential that in your property you would need to heat with radiators. In this property, because we're recovering around about 93 to 96% of the energy, we actually only need to make up a little over 1 degrees difference by the time it's brought back into the property. And it's clean because it's got no pollen and particulates, those are filtered out. And it's also dehumidified because in a place like Manchester, we all know it gets pretty moist.